Hi guys, so morning from sunny Cyprus. So you can see it's, it's really nice at the moment. Not like your neck of the woods up in, uh, I don't know, Australia and New Zealand right now. So it's really lovely here at the moment. So um, yesterday, as some of you know, I did this post about reaching my target, which I did. Woohoo, you know. So um, that's really great. Reached that yesterday. And a lot of you actually did ask me, like, how, how many days did it take you to get there? I tell you what, guys, it was not days. It was, it was like, it was months, okay? So there is a little bit of a narrative behind this story because, like, my journey has never been a linear one, probably never will be, but, you know, that's okay. I guess that's how the cookie crumbles for the likes of me and probably for a lot of you. So I thought it might be handy to share this story with you. So first off, the total weight loss um, has been like six kg, six kilos, and that actually started in May, um, and it was really, really slow. So I started out like the conventional way, and that was like complete buggery. It was like <laughs> so, so slow, and it's been very slow because of my MS history. So um, that went on with the conventional way till about June. And then um, June, I kind of discovered this whole keto thing, which I actually was really against to start with, you know, because I was like from a real naturopathic background and everything natural. And I just knew or felt from what I'd learned until that point that it was something that was really bad for you. And I guess that perspective is justified, to be honest, because there is a lot of ketogenic um, uh, approaches that are pretty rubbish out there, you know. So um, I did actually find one, but because I was so stuck, I didn't know what else to do to lose the rest of the weight. So I started one of these programs anyway. So at that point, I dropped down from uh, 62 kg to about 59 and a half conventional. Then I started the crappy keto. <laughs> I did that for a month and I lost another two there. And then the last two I lost doing the last two weeks with this program, which I'm absolutely wrapped about. Amazing. Because obviously, um, if I compare it to the, uh, the other two methods, this has been the fastest, the safest, the cleanest. And, um, you know, for me, it was really important to do it clean. You know, I didn't like all the other keto ways that were not clean. So this has been absolutely an amazing journey and I hit my target weight yesterday, as I told you, which is 56 kg, um, which I haven't been, by the way, since around 2011. <laughs> so I'm really fucking wrapped, you know, so that's been great. Um, but the thing is as well, guys, is that, you know, this 5, 6 kg, the reason why it's a really big deal for me is because this way is sort of aching to somebody who's got 20 kg to lose he's a bigger person that i may have been to start out with because my metabolism was actually absolutely shagged you know it was it was dead because of the ms history right so um incidentally i was diagnosed in the year 2000 and couldn't do all the meds almost died from the the court the intravenous cortisone that they put me on and um, after I nearly died from all of that, I made a conscious vow and I said, OK, so um, whatever it is I do for this MS situation, it's only ever going to be natural. It's never, ever, ever going to be meds again. Now, I'm not saying to you lot that if you have a medical condition, drop your meds or don't take your meds. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, is that it just, it just wasn't good for me. I was already not very good with the meds anyway for anything, you know. So, um, vowed to never do the meds. And uh, that basically put me on a journey of uh, self-discovery, uh, guinea pigging. I was always my own guinea pig for everything. Um... And it was very tough. It wasn't an easy journey. I've been through all the symptoms, the blindness, the paralysis, the, um, um, uh, you know, the numbness, not being able to talk, drooling. I was an absolute mess. So um, every time a relapse came along, I would find a way to deal with it. And every time I was fine, fine in between, I'd educate myself. So as I've said before in some of my posts on here, 
um, education is power, guys. Do you know what I mean? And that's another thing that I love about this program because it's educational, you know. You learn things. You learn more things about the body and about nutrition and, um, you know, how to master all of that and how to make it work in your favour, which was what really made me so, so excited about it. So um, everything is really good. I've also been asked, like, what are you doing um, between now and the end of the month? So what I'm going to do is stick to it, um, but not so rigidly, obviously, because I don't really want to lose any more weight. But as um, one of the amazing, you know, team staff there mentioned to me, they were like, well, if you just drop a couple of kgs below that it would mean that you'd be like within your limits if you go up a little bit and whatnot and it's good for the self-esteem so I thought okay if that happens and that is okie dokie by me so but just not as rigid so I might up my fats a little bit try and also lift my energy up a little bit in terms of exercising for me now since I've lost uh since I've shed excuse me the weight that I need to shed so um, I'd like to become a little bit more active. Um, and the other thing that concerns me as well mostly is like really um, mastering uh, the health aspect as much as possible because it's always been about health mastery with the whole MS trip and everything. So I did it through that. And I do have like one pending issue that I need to get around that's still ongoing. And it has actually been begun from the beginning of the keto journey including this one as well and that is on uh, raising that I mean raising up from bed um, when I'm bending over standing up walking upstairs walking downstairs I'm still getting those freaking palpitations it's driving me nuts because I never used to have this stuff so uh, palpitations and shortness of breath. Now, I come from a fitness background. Before I got sick with EMS, I was um, a personal trainer and fitness instructor. That was back in the day, not now. Um, but did, in, in my better days, still did continue to train, do some yoga, you know, just to keep on top of it. And um, this palpitation and shortness of breath stuff begun with a keto journey. Now, I have done everything that I could possibly think of and that is within kind of um, plan boundaries, perhaps some, some aren't. So doing like the broth, I'm doing the um, electrolytes, I'm doing the magnesium, I'm doing the potassium, doing the multi-minerals, you know, I'm doing all of that. <laughs> I'm doing it all, you know. Um, try to up my vegetables as well, doing all of that, doing all of that. So I'm thinking, what is left? What is there left that I could do? I do have a slight improvement, but I'm not happy with it. Like, this is not me, guys. It's not me. I can't be, like, getting up in the morning and be like, you know, it's, it's just, this just isn't correct, you know. And I'm talking now that uh, I've been on the whole keto journey for over a month now. So I think it's a bit too long for this system to persist. Yes, I have been to the doctor. And you know what he did? He just poo-hooed it. And he was like, oh, it's just from the change and it's going to be fine. You know, it was like that. But, um, and I pacify myself, but, you know, deep down I am concerned. Now, another thing that I have not done, I've tried to address it through like the supplement and the nutritional avenue way. So the next in line is I'm going to sit down and address it through the esoteric energetic healing way because that's what I do, right? But I didn't do it on purpose because I wanted to see if I could address it strictly through the guidelines of um, nutritional ketogenic and through um, natural supplementation and see how well I fare with that. So not too great, not too great. So the next step is, is today I'm going to get on it with um, some self-healing methods because that's basically what I do. That's how I made myself well and how I pulled myself out of uh, MS relapses and a whole bunch of other shit, basically. So um, tried it this way. I'm going to keep going with the supplements and all the guidelines, obviously, that, you know, you guys have offered me here and I've researched out of the group as well. So thanks so much for all of that team and Deb for everything. Really do appreciate it. 
and I'm um, gonna address it through the you know vibrational medicine kind of way and see how I fare with that and I will keep you updated promise and um, just as a sideline I also wanted to say um, guys um, kind of zoom back from the smaller details do you know what I mean unless it's something something is really persistent like my deal with the palpitations and the shortness of breath um, but you know these like little details of oh I've gained you know 500 grams today or I didn't lose today or I'm stagnated today you know that's a it's it's very kind of um uh a momentary way of looking at it do you know what I mean you need to step back step back so some things take time give yourself time you know as you know time is the greatest healer so let, let time do the healing and um, be patient with yourselves, love yourselves, right? Let it happen and um, leave some time. If something is persistent and ongoing, that's when you need to address it and see it as, you know, more of, a, more of an issue and to dig deeper and educate yourselves about it, right? So um, with that, just wanted to put in my two cents of a bit of like Sophia, a bit of wisdom, right? And so I did promise I'll zoom back a little bit for you and show you some of these results. Although I am holding the phone with my hand in case you haven't noticed with all of the wobbling, right? So here it, here it is. So that is it. I think I can get a little bit. That's tummy on the side. Not too shabby, not too shabby. So keep going. If I've been through all those trials and hell holes of a mess, you can definitely do this. Don't stop. Don't give up. Keep going. Love you all, especially the team. You are absolute fucking stars, as well as Deb, of course. Thank you so much. Love, kisses and gratitude all around. I am so emotional.